Before proceeding, please make sure to subscribe to Dental Maniac and turn on the bell icon for upcoming videos. You can always support my work with your likes, comments and shares. For latest updates, you can join me on Facebook and Instagram at Dental Maniac. For images and transcripts, please visit my Patreon page, the link for which is given here above. So, let's begin. Dry socket, also known as alveolar ostitis, alveolitis, or septic socket, is an oral condition that can happen to adults after they have had a tooth extraction. The hole in the bone where the tooth used to be is called a socket, and typically after a tooth is pulled, a blood clot forms in the socket to protect the bone and nerves underneath as it heals and then the space occupied by the blood clot is gradually filled by bone. Sometimes the blood clot either becomes displaced or doesn't fully form at all. The affected socket initially might be filled with a dirty grayish cloth which is lost and leaves an empty bony socket with nerves being exposed in the socket and is given the name of a dry socket. The condition is not only painful but also slow down the healing process. Dry socket typically occurs in posterior regions of the lower teeth and is slightly more common in women than men. Although there isn't an exact cause for someone to experience dry socket, but it may be associated with some risk factors listed as follows. Use of a local anesthetic with a high concentration of a vasoconstrictor, a really difficult tooth extraction, poor oral hygiene, taking oral contraceptives, smoking or using tobacco products, and rinsing and spitting too much after a tooth is removed. The incidence appears to increase in smokers and those taking oral contraceptives. Coming to the diagnosis, the patient starts experiencing pain at the extraction site 3 to 4 days following extraction. The diagnosis of the dry socket is done by probing the socket which reveals an empty, exposed and an extremely sensitive bone. This sensitive and empty socket might be hindered with some overlying inflamed soft tissues or partial retention of the blood clot. Other symptoms include foul odor, bad breath and less frequently swelling and lymphadenopathy might also be present three to four days after tooth extraction. Occasionally, patient may also experience pain radiating to the ipsilateral ear, the temporal region or eye area on the affected site. and rarely individuals can have trismus of the jaw which is the inability to open one's mouth. To provide an effective treatment, the dentist should take a radiograph of the affected area at first to rule out the possibility of retained tooth fragment or presence of any foreign body within the socket. If sutures are present, all sutures must be removed. The tooth socket is irrigated with warm saline and a potent analgesic and an oral antibiotic is prescribed. An optendent dressing such as iodoform gauze containing agenol is placed within the socket, but many controversies are present regarding its use. Some believe the dressing acts as foreign material and delays healing process of the socket. However, it does reduce the symptoms and help keep food debris out of the socket. The dressing if used must be changed every 24 hours for the first 3 days and then every 2-3 to three days until patient becomes pain free. Afterwards, the patient is instructed to use home irrigations with a chlorhexidine or saline solution through a syringe. The irrigation should be continued until debris can no longer collect within the healing socket, which is usually a time period of 3-4 to four weeks. I hope this video helps. If you think this video was really helpful, please hit the like button and share the video ahead. If you have got any questions and suggestions, you may write them down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.